fourteen dollars. Thank you. Please pull forward slowly in hey. the wash. Hold on, let me get my life together. I think they upgraded this car wash or something. Okay, now that that's done. So this morning I wake up, I brush my teeth, I go open up the baby's nursery because I'm thinking of like what else I need to do in there because it's so close to my due date. And I see the wallpaper like that and I was so upset. Zaya gave me a hug to comfort me and I just sat there and soaked it up for a second. And then I thought, all right, I am not gonna let this wallpaper defeat me. I am too close to my dang due date to be dealing with this. So I just got my car washed. I gotta go to the dog store to get some dog food because they are like completely out. And then I'm going to Starbucks because I haven't even got my coffee yet. And I said, you know what? I just wanna get this wallpaper fixed. So I didn't even make myself a cup of coffee yet. And then I'm gonna go to Lowe's, actually AutoZone because I need windshield wiper fluid and my car is like mad at me because I haven't gotten it in a while. Then I'm gonna go to Lowe's, get the nails. And then I gotta go to Walgreens and pick up a couple things. So, quick errands. Oh, and not to mention, I also gotta go grocery shopping because we're like out of everything. I really do not like grocery shopping at all. I wish I did, but I don't. And it's expensive. I'm gonna suck it up and I'm gonna go do all this today. I was just gonna Instacart a couple things from whatever I needed from Walgreens and stuff, but I have too many stores and stuff I gotta do. So, looks like I'm doing it. to calm down, get my life together, and everything will be okay. That wallpaper really set me off this morning. All right, dog food, check. Now for Starbucks. You know what my motivation song is for this dang wallpaper today? I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, giving up, no, not yet. <laughs> Dude, I will not let this wallpaper defeat me. It's getting nailed in at the top. So I felt the baby get scared for the first time this morning when Zayla was setting up the ladder in the nursery so I could fix the wallpaper. Um, I guess it scared her, she jumped. And yes, that is a thing. I was watching a YouTuber and when she was pregnant, she said every time she got ice out of the fridge, then she would feel something. So she asked the OB about it. And they said, you know, you could scare your baby when the baby's in the womb still and I've just been waiting for that moment to happen. Like, I know it was gonna, and it did this morning. It was kind of cute. Yesterday we had our 38 week appointment. My next appointment is next week on the 5th. And it's with a different OB just cause my OB isn't available. And then my next one after that is the 9th when my due date's the 11th. And that's with my normal OB. And my normal OB said, if you don't have your baby by the time I see you next, then we'll talk induction. I don't wanna get induced unless I have to, unless for safety reasons for the baby. Cause why force a baby out? Why, why force her out if she's not ready? Like if there's no reason to force them out, then why do it, you know? Unless, like I said, it's for safety reasons, I understand. But I really don't wanna get induced. And I really don't want to have a C-section. I'm literally so nervous for birth. But what I've been doing is going on TikTok and listening to positive birth stories and seeing what other people have to say because that'll make my mind feel better and make it think nothing bad will happen. Because some people on TikTok, they have some traumatizing birth stories and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that can happen to me. But positive birth stories only. That's all I want to hear. What should I get? Am I hungry? Should I get a muffin or something? Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Can I get you started off with any sweets? Um, can I, <clears throat> can I please get a grande caramel brulee latte? And then that was hot? Yes, please. Okay. And then a bacon sausage and egg wrap. Bacon sausage wrap, okay. And that'll be it. 
So this is two items. It's gonna be twelve eighty five. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I've ever had the caramel brulee latte. And then I gotta eat something for to feed this baby. So. So when I went to my doctor's appointment, she checked my cervix to see if I was dilated at all. I am still one centimeter dilated. Um, I'm seeing no signs of labor, contractions, or anything. She doesn't need to check me every time I go to my appointment, but I ask her to because since I'm not seeing signs, maybe she could see signs that maybe we're getting closer. And she said I was one centimeter dilated, so we might have a baby in like two weeks. Two weeks! And I'm slowly waiting for like contractions to kick in when I'm sleeping or something like, I don't know. Or my, maybe my water breaking or something, some sign. I just don't wanna get induced if I don't have to, that's all. I'm still taking primrose oil, evening primrose oil pills um, or vitamins, I guess you could call it. I am still drinking raspberry leaf tea every single morning. I should be drinking it more, but I also bought raspberry leaf um, tablets or gummies. They're in the mail right now. I was gonna get some at Walgreens, but I don't think they have them at Walgreens. I looked it up. I'm waiting for those to come in. They should be here. They should be here on Monday. And then I'll take those with my evening primrose oil pills, vitamins, whatever, every night. Because people, I heard people who take that stuff during pregnancy have a really great birth experience. Like baby doesn't get stuck in, in the womb or in pelvic area because I've heard of that happening. Actually, I've heard people say that three pushes and the baby's out. So hopefully that's the case for me. I just want to, like I'm pooping, you know? One, two, three. Even if it takes an hour. I got this. This is literally what our bodies are made for. Like, women have been going through this for since we've existed, you know? And how many people are on this earth? A lot. A lot of people are on this earth. And we have a lot of people on this earth because when we keep producing. I got this. What am I nervous for? What am I nervous for? I need coffee. Thank you. You too. Never had one of these. I need some hot sauce. That was a lot of tortilla. And it's hot. I've had a caramel brulee latte once in my life. I just don't remember. It doesn't taste familiar, but how have I not ever gotten it? But it, that's really good. It's mm, really good. Glad I got that. I think I got everything I needed. The only thing I need to do left is grocery shop and I've been putting that off for a while now. I don't want the hubs starving. And I want to pre-make meals for after baby's here so that we can just put it in the freezer and heat it up. But I gotta do more research on what I wanna make. Everybody always says lasagna, but that's so typical. So. I got my dog food, I got my car washed, um, I got Starbucks, I got windshield wiper fluid, I got nails and tacks. I got white tacks because I wanted it to blend into the wallpaper and I don't want them to go too far deep into the wall. And then I went to Walgreens and I just needed stuff like oatmeal bath stuff because of my itchy skin for being pregnant. And I got hair dye. Um, I don't know what it is, but I've been getting a few gray hairs in the middle there. And you can really see my roots right now. So, yeah, I'm going to box dye my hair. It's something my mom and I have always done. So, whatever. You know how much it is to get your hair dyed professionally? It's like $300, at least for my hair. Because I have a lot of hair. Super thick. And why? It just 
goes out anyway, so might as well just box dye it. And my hair is dirty right now, so I need to wash it. It is Friday. Fridays I wash my hair. I don't know how some of you guys feel about that, but washing your hair every day is not good because the oils from your scalp is what makes your hair grow. Your hair grows from the scalp. I understand your hair breaks off at the ends and you should always get it trimmed and stuff. So make sure you get it trimmed and all that, but your hair grows from the scalp. So you need those oils. And my hair doesn't get oily that easily, so that's why I can wait a whole week. Um, other people, I recommend like having oily hair for maybe one day. Yeah, so before I wash my hair, I'm gonna dye my hair because it's best to dye your hair when it's dirty. Maybe it'll make me feel better after this wallpaper fiasco. Okay, you could definitely see where the wallpaper is like worn out now from being folded up and sticking to itself. You see that right there? It's everywhere. Right there. But you know what? If you don't look closely, you won't even be able to tell. This has happened probably three times now. But I tacked it. I put them everywhere. You could see that I tacked it in random places. Okay, so here is the problem. So the heat comes out of there. 
and I thought it was blowing directly onto the wallpaper so then I put this vent deflector on it so that it won't blow directly on the wallpaper. Well, since we keep the door closed to this room when we're not home and when we're not using it, then the whole room got heated up and the wallpaper fell. Hopefully this doesn't happen again though. With that being said, let's dye our hair. But first, we change. Actually, let me try a transition. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How was that? Was that good? These clothes are like super tight and weird on me. Weird feeling. Like they're really tight <laughs> because the baby. But let's get started, okay? I wanted to get this done before Isaiah got home so I could surprise him. I wanted my hair to be dry and everything. But he's on his way home now. And I already told him I'm dying my hair. So never mind. Never mind a surprise. Ooh. So this is the color I'm dying it. Red, like always. Um, this one actually comes with like a little brush thing. You see it? See it? Auto focus. So that's cool. I always read the instructions even though I know how to do this. I've been doing this for many years. Got gloves, of course. I'm using this shirt because it's black and reddish and like if I get reddish hair dye on it, then you won't be able to tell and I'll still be able to wear it, you know? And it's long sleeve so it won't get on my arms. Open the color cream. Color cream. Normally, if I was in the camper, I would ventilate, I would like open up like windows and stuff, whatever because I'm also pregnant, but like, I would do that when I wasn't pregnant too because it's so, such a strong smell. But this house is big, I just leave every door open and it just goes out into the living room and stuff, you know? So it's fine, it's fine, it'll be all right, okay? Two goes into one, then shake. When do I use three? Oh, this is shampoo. I've never gotten shampoo in a color kit. I've always gotten conditioner. Interesting. This one goes in one, like so. Oh, you know what I should do? I should mix the other one. I always get two because I have a lot of hair. My hair is super thick. One glove on, two glove on. Protected arms, hands, neck. The only thing is my ears. I know I'm gonna get it on there, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I need more light. I'm gonna mess with the camera. Woo! Hold on. There we go. That was yellow. No, no yellow. So I can use that little comb applicator thing. You know what? I'll hit you guys up when I'm done. And there we have it. So beautiful. The only thing I need to do left is put globs of lotion, doesn't matter what lotion, on the edges so that the dye doesn't stick to your skin, especially on the ears, because the ears Get the most hair dye on them all the time. And behind the ear, like literally glob it on. I already see a big old glob behind my ear over here. So before you guys come at me, yes, you could dye your hair when you're pregnant. I asked at the beginning of my pregnancy, I asked my OB, she's like, I don't know why people think you can't. It's not like it soaks into your skin and hurts the baby. But I understand the ventilation part. Just make sure your place is ventilated. Like I had the, I had the bathroom fan on during the whole thing. I didn't want to dye my hair with you guys watching because there are so many Karens out there who judge how you dye your hair. No, you're supposed to start with the roots. No, you're supposed to start with the ends. No, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. Oh my God, you're gonna do your hair. And then it always comes out great anyway, whatever. So that's why I didn't do it on camera. Cause look, full coverage. 
That's two boxes, and I thought I wasn't gonna have enough, but we're good. See, look, literally glob. Look at that. And keep it on until you shower. So this is how my hair turned out. I absolutely love it. It looks a little more red on camera, I think, but it's more of like a red brown. My ribs on my right side have been hurting a lot today. Well, lately, but like today's like the worst day. Like, I move my arm and I can't breathe. It takes my breath away. I'm gonna sit down. Yeah. Since it is December 31st, that means tomorrow is the new year, 2023, which is so crazy to me. This year, we moved into a house, we found out we were pregnant, we went to Mexico. I think those are the biggest highlights. We even went to Washington State to visit my grandma for Thanksgiving. I think those are the main highlights of the year. Um, hopefully you guys fulfilled all your goals of the year and start making new ones, setting new goals for yourself. Zaya's business has been very successful this year too, so very blessed for that. Maybe in the next video, we'll have a little baby in our arms. I don't know, I'm not seeing any signs yet of labor or contractions or anything, so. Getting pretty big. 38 weeks and 3 days today. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe, like this video, and press that bell notification button so you can get notified every time we share with you a little piece of our lives. Thanks for hanging out with me again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!